most of the scientists that signed on to the UN documents that they were only consulted that they don't even agree with it. So that's another fraud. But the issue here is the emails are real. Read the Associated Press. Read Reuters. Read the articles where they've called these scientists that are in these emails, these climatologists, and talked to them about it. And they've said, well, yes, uh, we were hacked, and those are our emails, but they're being interpreted wrong. But see, there's a separate media spin right now where the press is saying, well, we don't know if the emails are real. No. The university admits they were hacked, several thousand emails were stolen, and they're now spinning, saying, oh, well, this is being taken out of context. Quotes by Phil Jones to other climatologists writing to colleagues about graphs showing climate statistics over the last millennium. He alludes to techniques used by a fellow scientist to hide the decline. And it goes on to say, from 61, for Keith to hide the decline in temperature since 1961. So over and over again, hide the decline, how to manipulate the data. And so understand, they're admitting they were hacked, and they're now countering the email saying, well, you're misinterpreting what I said. They themselves, because the media contacted them quickly, now they're not talking to the media. They figured out how they screwed up. They're going, well, I didn't mean that when I said it, or, well, you're misinterpreting what I said. They've now, the source, has now confirmed these emails. Go read them for yourself on InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com. There's thousands of them. We're trying to go through them right now. The, the, the worst stuff's coming out every hour. Write your own articles. Post your own blogs. Dig through it. This is a community research project. This is so exciting. So we have that going on. The emails are real. All the key data. This particular university that nexus in with the Goddard Space Center in the U.S. and others, the Climate Research Unit, a leading global research center on climate change, run by Professor Phil Jones. He is sourced and quoted everywhere as the one that gives all the data to the UN and then all the other scientific firms funded by the government, both private uh, and governmental, then just agree with it. And then it's heresy if you question it. So that's going on. All their key data comes from this. This is the bottom card in the House of Cards of the first domino. And it's now falling. And it's so essential that everyone get out there ahead of this media spin because the media, even though the people that wrote the emails are admitting they wrote them, the media is trying to spin it saying, well, we don't know if those emails are real. And I predict the establishment's now going to insert fake emails in the coming days to try to uh, disease the entire honeypot so that the media can then come out and try to discredit it. Kind of like it's admitted that Bush didn't go to a lot of his uh, Air National Guard duties, but then some fake documents were put out by Carl Rove that CBS picked on, then discrediting the whole thing. So look for that trick. We know how they operate. Obviously, this is scientific fraud. They've already been proven that their data was wrong. Now we know it was on purpose. But another big issue when you read these emails is, how do we get this guy fired? How do we have different scientific groups blackball this person? How do we remove their funding? How do we get this journal suspended? How do we stop these people from being able to submit to scientific journals? So this is a giant collusion, almost like the Catholic Church trying to stop Galileo from when he noticed that the moons of Jupiter were orbiting. He did mathematic calculations that could tell that the Earth was actually orbiting uh, the sun. So we have that going on. Uh, so incredible intimidation. They need to be raided. Their hard drives need to be grabbed. Their filing cabinets. Their communiques. Because they're pushing for a global government, global tax through all of this. An international system to control our lives. We're going to play that Von Rompe clip here. 2009 is also the first year of global governance with the establishment of the G20 in the middle of the financial crisis. The climate conference in Copenhagen is another step towards the global management of our planet. Our mission, our presidency, is one of hope, supported by acts and by deeds. You look at the new head uh, of the European Union, he is on record saying first year of global governance through the Copenhagen Treaty and the carbon tax. He's also quoted as calling for global management of the planet through the environmental crises. That's why the big banks, J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, the Bank of England, all the money people are funding the climate change system because then they get to have a global government that manages and taxes the life-giving gas, carbon dioxide, that plants breathe. So we need a real investigation. And we know why there's all this fraud. We know what their goals are. Listing what plants breathe 
what all human activity produces as a toxic waste that they can regulate. It gives them total control over every facet of our lives. And they're in the news saying that they're going to decide what technologies can be developed, what technologies are going to be banned. London Guardian, global body needs to direct green technology, G77 says, developed nations call for human body to police battle on climate change. So that's going on. We're going to be covering this more in subsequent videos, but the emails, the documents, boil downs of all the other previous fraud, the intimidation of scientists, it's all on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. If we force this out into the public, which is already starting to happen, and, and expose the spin and show people what's really happening, we can blow this thing sky high in the info war. This is the equivalent of Bothans stealing the Death Star plans. Now we have to use these plans. I hope you understand the level of this. They admit the emails are real. This is meant to set up a world government in their own words. This is all being decided on right now. This is a godsend. This is one of the greatest blows against the new order I've ever seen. Last week it passed out a committee in the House. They have 311 votes. It's sure to pass a strong audit the Fed bill. The Senate tried to strip it. Some House members tried to strip it. They failed there. We're having victory after victory after victory. And my film, Fall of the Republic, details how the banks are setting up this climate dictatorship, this dictatorship over resources. So please watch that film. We're going to put a link to it up in the corner here on YouTube to watch it in full for free. Give it to everyone you know. This film cost me $200,000 to make. You can buy the DVD at Infowars.com if you want to support us. But to all of you out there, this is not pearls before swine. This will annihilate the New World Order and their agenda. This, this, this has caught them red-handed and they need to be brought to justice, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Now, the rest is up to you. The ball's in your court. Please take action. Climate gate, it can bring them down.